about some things, Rose, but not about Titanic. It's over 100 feet longer than Mauritania. Father didn't book us in time. I booked it when you finally decided you could actually go. Okay. I get the side by the window. Oh, look at that. Our travel agent gave us this basket. That is so nice. I have to send him an email. Welcome to Room TV. Hey, sport. Your one-stop information okay? center. Come on. I bomb the good stuff. You guys can have the fruit. Uh, you share, young man, or we bomb you. Mom, the bed situation. Girl's bed, boy's bed. I don't think that's what the uh, counselor had in mind. Not now, Richard, please. Why are you guys whispering? Because I don't want you to hear. Can I go now? Yeah, I'll just uh, take your life jacket with you. And make sure you're back in time for the drill. See ya. It's all together in this thing. It's just really working, Rachel. Yeah, have a nice fight. Shelby.
woman came aboard named Margaret Brown, but we all called her Molly. History would call her the unseekable Molly Brown. Well, I wasn't about to wait all day for you, Sonny. Yes. Here, you think you can manage? Hey, her husband had struck gold someplace out west, and she was what Mother called new money. By the next afternoon, we were steaming west from the coast of Ireland, with nothing out ahead of us but ocean. Take it to see, Mr. Murdoch. Let's stretch your legs. Yes, sir. On ahead, full, Mr. Moody. Very good, sir. four boilers no I don't see the need we are making excellent time the press knows the size of Titanic now I want them to marvel at her speed we must give them something new to print this maiden voyage of Titanic must make headlines mr. Ismay I would prefer not to push the engines until they've been properly run in I'm just a passenger. I leave it to your good offices to decide what's best. What a glorious end to your final crossing if we were to get into New York on Tuesday night and surprise them all. Make the morning papers. Retire with a bang, eh, E.J.? Good man. Ah, Mr. Aker. I 
I'm so glad you're looking after us. Mrs. Rosen, it's my pleasure. But you are aware that Platinum members can use the club dining room. Oh, I know, but I want to meet some new people. In that case, I've got just a table for you. Lucky number seven. This way, please, Mrs. Rosen. Lucky number seven for you, ma'am. Bishop Schmidt! Oh. This is Bishop Schmidt. He's on his way to Australia to look after the Aborigines. I'm sure it will be quite humbling. Oh, you're too modest. So, Mr. Aiken, if you find any more stray dogs, you just send them to our table. <laughs> Exertions below decks were no doubt exhausting. I see you had that undertaker of a manservant follow me. How typical. You will never behave like that again, Rose. Do you understand? I'm not a foreman in one of your mills that you can command. I'm your fiancé. Fiancé? My fiancé! Yes, you are! And my wife! Practice, if not yet by law, so you will honor me. You will honor me the way a wife is required to honor a husband. Because I will not be made out of fool, Rose. Is this in any way unclear? No. Good. Excuse me. 